We talked with Georgina Cousin, the remarkable Ghanaian lady who is responsible for getting the villages in North Ghana to work together as a cooperative. It is this cooperative which now produces over 20 tonnes of organic shea butter every six weeks, which is used in a number of green people products. She told us about her journey and her inspirations. We start with the collection of the nuts. And the collection of the nuts, you don't have to um, take it from the tree. You have to allow it, collect it on the ground. And then after that, it goes through cracking of the nut. Then you parboil it and crack it and allow it to dry for some time. After that, it goes through crack, uh, cracking in the machine. Then from there, you roast it. After roasting, you mill it again. After milling, it has to go through kneading with water, only water, mm -hmm. um, to introduce air in the butter. The, the milled paste and then after that you scoop the the paste and put it in a, a, a bowl and boil it for some time to separate the water from the oil and then you separate it and put it in a bowl of um, a bowl for it to cool down and that sounds like a really short space of time exactly but it's not is it yes it's not so there's some very lengthy periods where it takes how long to actually grow a, a, a sheer nut tree? How long? How many years? Um, from the agriculture point of view, they said it takes 25 years. 25 years. So most of the trees here were just um, came on its own, and most of the time when they are doing the collection, they leave something like 30 to 10 percent on the ground, so that it will grow again because you cannot plant it. Then, then it will continue for the next generation. If not, it will get to a point and there is no share nut tree. Very important. Yes. And what makes a, a, a sh the shear nut um, organic? Why is it different? What have you done differently to produce it as an organic shear butter? The organic shear butter, it goes through a lot of um, process. It's not just going to buy the nut and processing it, but you have to trace it from the field to the processing to the last end. So if somebody comes looking for the organic share butter, the person has to be able to trace through the mm -hmm. product, the whole process. And at the end of the day, we have to know the one who processes it. In case of any problem, we can trace it and take that block out of the lot from the total production. And uh, the woman has to be trained mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to conform to the quality and also to the EU standards. And it's, uh, uh, organic is very special because it has no contamination from pesticides or exactly. chemicals. How would the chemicals and pesticides get onto the non-organic trees if, if elsewhere they were being produced? The non-organic shell nuts you can just collect anywhere, but for the organic even you cannot collect along the roadside mm -hmm. because of pollution. So they have a space like 100 meters or 200 meters, they don't have to collect from that space. They don't have to collect in uh, where they live right. because it can be contaminated. Yes. And they have to collect from where it's not contaminated, where they don't have any uh, plantation under it. And if they've even planted something, they have to see to it that it's not, they don't apply any chemicals yes. to it. Yes. So it's important. So in non-organic production, yes. there could be plants underneath the trees exactly. that are being sprayed that exactly. would contaminate the, exactly. the nuts. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. So and, and how long does the process take from start to finish to produce the shea butter? Um, for the drying of the nut, it depends on the weather. Because if you don't have good weather, you don't get good quality. Mm -hmm. So they have to dry it well. And all the to get a good butter it goes it starts from the collection, the drying of the nut. So it depends on the weather. If the weather is good, it would take something like the drying will take about one or two days. Then it will for the processing also when it gets to the roasting it depends on the weather and also, yes, mm -hmm. so maybe within 
six hours they should be able to process one bag. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And that kneading is very yes. hard work, isn't it? So we've seen the pictures of the yes. we've seen the women themselves yes. doing the, mm -hmm. the the kneading of the mm -hmm. butter, mm -hmm. and it's exceptionally hard work. Yes. And they're very fit, aren't they? They're very very healthy. How do what do they eat here? How are they feeding themselves? Do they are they being trained to produce their own food as well to combine with producing the shea butter? Yes, because if they don't have um, they don't have food, they cannot work. No. So during the major season in their area, they have to produce their own crops. Right. And the other thing is also if they think they pro process shea butter and they will make more money. They will prefer to process their butter and get labors on their farm to farm for them and pay them and process their butter and make money. But normally around this time they are on the farm trying to to produce their own food. Yes, yes. So and it's that, that's organic food. Exactly. So exactly, they're, exactly. They're, they're doing good for the environment and their health. Exactly. How lovely. exactly. And it's not only producing the butter, we also train them on um, business managing, Good. and I think it's important for them to know that it's a business and they have to manage it well, yes. and to be sustainable, manage what they have yes. well, and to reinvest what they get. Great, yeah. great. Mm -hmm. And how much, I worry that it's quite expensive to mm -hmm. produce this butter. Mm -hmm. Um, what, where, where are the areas that cost the most? What, what, what are the things that you have to spend money on to produce? Um, apart from collecting of the nuts and processing it, sometimes it also it depends on the market uh, value. If a lot of people can buy the nuts, they don't mind if it's organic, they can sell it to mm -hmm. they sell the nuts. But I don't encourage them selling the nuts because it will not help them. Right. Yes, right. it will not help them. The other thing is the packaging, the mm -hmm. processing of the mm -hmm. now diesel and electricity is going up. Yes. And they are, we are paying about 200% of utility bills. So now it's going to affect, and it affects the chain. The packaging material yes. is affected. You have yes. to buy it twice the amount. Yes. You have to pay for certification fees. You have to pay for communication. Yes. Um, you have to you have to transport the 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 packaging material to wire and also transport it back and it all costs money. It's a long way. That tra long that way. transport that takes a long time, doesn't exactly. it? So we travelled almost fourteen, 14 hours. hours. Yeah. To, and that's the packaging trip and exactly. the product trip that exactly. goes. Which so is it's not lot. only the raw butter, it goes beyond the raw butter because there are a lot of costs involved. Yes. And if the utility bills are going up, it affects everything and you have no control over no. it. Yes. No. So, so it would be good to be looking at how you exactly. could be more sustainable exactly. and you could create some of your own energy. Exactly, that and is then. what I think it will help us a lot since we have a lot of a lot of um, sand here, yes, and it can go up to 40 degrees, so we can create our own energy, yes. and that will be a major breakthrough for us. Okay. So it will it will reduce the cost a little bit. Yes. 